Now, as a small business owner, our sleepless nights and our worries always stem from one thing, how to attract more customers. Now, how to attract more customers is a problem on its own. Imagine trying to attract customers on social media, like on Instagram, Facebook, everything, TikTok. Imagine trying to attract customers on those platforms. You have to literally learn every single platform and how that works in your favor. In this video, I'm gonna be highlighting how to brand your small business on Instagram to attract the right customers. Now, as a business owner, the two factors you have to consider when trying to attract customers to your Instagram page are one, interest, and two, personal interest meaning that the customers have to have interest in the product that you're actually selling and two persuasion making sure that your social media marketing is as effective enough to get that customer to purchase a product from you so these are the two factors you need to consider when trying to brand your Instagram page to attract them and I'm gonna be listing the several ways you can go about attracting your customers on Instagram the very first thing you have to do is get a catchy Instagram name and when selecting a business name I don't think it'll be wise for you to select just any name it has to be one catchy two it has to stay in the memory of your customers and three it has to be easy to find you're not gonna go pick a name like Rumpelstiltskin and expect people to figure out how to spell it you're gonna pick a catchy name probably a name in like two or three syllables easy to pronounce easy to remember and make sure it sticks in the memory of your customers now when starting my small business I decided to google a ton of names that I found very interesting very catchy and I knew it would attract the right audience the name nutcase came from thinking crazy like crazy ideas crazy innovations being creative in a crazy way and I wanted that to reflect in the brand and in the quality of products I was selling I had to find a way to link the passion that I had for the brand and the name so that people feel that connection when choosing your name so make sure that you are selecting a very catchy name to go with your brand now the second thing is to come up with a catchy bio everyone thinks that the bio is not important guys your bio is literally the first impression your customers have of you if you have your bio as your business name registration number and then you're linking to your personal page I'm not coming to your page to see your personal page I'm coming to see what you're offering if your sponsored ads on your Instagram page has brought me to your page it has to convince me to buy it but if I see that your bio is not telling me what your brand is about I'm seeing you're selling different things I'm confused and I log out of your page so you need to focus on your bio to make sure that it attracts and sells your product on my bio on my business page I put trendy prints and stickers to highlight some of the fun creative things you would expect from my brand so it's not different from what people are going to expect when they buy my products now the third and most important one is to include your location I say this because if you are a small business located in Lagos Nigeria you have to tell people you're in Lagos Nigeria I had this problem when starting my business because a lot of people saw my brand I thought it was a Nigerian I had to find a way to convince people that my business was located in Lagos and find a way to convince them that they should patronize my business the very first way you can do this is by putting your location in your bio so after writing the trendy prints and all that good stuff you put in your bio Lagos Nigeria if it's in New Zealand if it's in Abuja if it's in Ghana make sure you put it at the bio one it gives the customers the reassurance that they can locate you two it also gives them the confidence to want to come back and refer other clients to you now let me give an example here there's a business I consulted a couple of years ago and when creating their social media page I particularly put the address of their store in their bio and the owner asked me like why are you putting my um, address there can people just go ahead and just know where I am by putting it in my post or something and I said one if you are an Instagram page, you need to give people the confidence that you're not a scam. You need to guarantee these people that their monies are going to get missing the moment they pay you. It's basically built on trust. You need to convince your customers that this place is real, this is what I'm going to go purchase, and I'm going to get my things in due time. So putting your location, your address, and your bio gives that trust or builds that trust with your customers to ensure that they purchase from you. The fourth one is adding highlights and adding themes to your page. If you're someone like me that likes colorful, brandy, trendy prints, you need to find the right scheme and the right color. 
Now, this is not sponsored, but Canva just came out with their own collection on branding. So branding for your small business, branding for your Instagram, branding for your website, all that good stuff. They came out with their own scheme. So basically, all you have to do is just pick out a color you want, and they've already matched it to similar colors that would blend well with your brand. If you want to go with the Canva route, that's perfect for you. But if you're someone like me that has a ton of things to do and just needs Canva templates, you can go and shop them on Etsy. Find any creative Etsy store owner that sells or have been selling Canva templates. Find the right scheme and colors that fit your brand. What I did was I went on Etsy. I went and purchased some templates. I purchased about maybe like the 60 to 80 templates and I was just playing around with it. This allowed me to not only play with my scheme of colors, but to find out what interested people. I've seen people like a lot of colors, catchiness, playfulness. They want to feel joy when they come to your page. And that's what I'm trying to ensure that people get when they come on my Instagram page. So if you're the kind of person that I am, those are the kind of colors that you're gonna attract. You're gonna find the purple, the pink, the green, the everything. And these are the best ways for you to get the attention of your customers. One, and two, ensure that your social media marketing is top notch to convince them to buy. Now I hope these little tips of mine have been able to kind of wind your mind a bit to the possibilities of what's out there in attracting your customers. These are the key things that I see customers look out for. Not only customers, but I do, but these are the key things that they look out for. And if you focus on these things and make sure that you're consistently posting and attracting you know, these customers, you're definitely gonna generate revenue for your business. So yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and keep watching. Bye guys.